So you're moving to Colorado Springs and you are possibly not wanting a new build. Maybe you want an existing home or your budget is more of an existing home in an older neighborhood. I'm thinking of a couple clients who bought with us this year, bought in, oh, 70s village homes, 80s, 1980s homes in uh -huh. like Village 7, Old Farm. Even Briargate. Rock Ribbon. Yeah, Briargate's a good one as well. Actually, mm -hmm. I actually was showing homes up in Monument this weekend and my head was like, okay, what can we do <laughs> to, to instantly. instantly get this ready? Even I was thinking, gosh, listing agent didn't tell them to do X, Y, and Z for this house. So how can you update your home quickly on a budget? Um, and add some good equity to your home if your home is a little bit dated and older and that's your dream home, what do you do to it? So we're gonna talk well, about that and today. I will say that in um, our market right now, I think because we have a little bit, I'm not gonna even call them high interest rates, but they um, in, historically, they are not high, but from what we just came off of, they're a little bit higher. I think with that, with coupled with the price of homes, People want, and by people, I mean buyers want to be able to walk into a home and not be overwhelmed with a laundry list of things. They want it to feel maybe not brand new, but updated enough that they're able to live with it and love the home that they're in. And so yeah. what are the most important things I'd say that people pick out as needing updated and that maybe you can do and we could rattle off some yeah. round numbers for you and sometimes as to people, how much it will actually cost sometimes people want that you know um mature yard they want mm, a certain neighborhood true. like rock ribbon is a great place people love that area but you aren't gonna find a brand new home we walk there. over there and we're like they, you kind of freak out you're like wait a minute and we're like all right let's break this down let's put some numbers to this yeah. here's how we're gonna talk you through what this could look what your home could look like mm -hmm. if you do a couple of these easy fixes and so we're gonna show you today here in this model some examples and then we're also gonna head on over to Target I think and maybe like a Home, home Depot, Depot or Lowe's or and something and kind of talk you through some of those things a little bit but we're gonna show you some really good options so let's go so one thing that to me instantly gives the feel of a home and it's typically in very important spaces like kitchens and bathrooms we want to talk about countertops so there are a lot of homes that we walk into though and maybe they have really nice cabinetry um you can kind of pull like a wood look in right now but we're like hey you could keep that oak cabinet but change the countertop like instead of the tile or whatnot just change the countertop to something a little bit more updated and it'll change the feel of the home this particular home has the lighter behind me the lighter cabinetry but even this countertop with a wood colored older oak oak behind me would difference. look beautiful um this is actually a quartz and you can see the veining some people love it some people don't care for it we're seeing a lot of granite coming back as well um the houses that i think you were showing this weekend a lot of them have that like four by four tile or tile out people terrible. don't like the upkeep of it no it looks but terrible. i will say even if you know you're on a super tight budget maybe you can afford to do a solid surface in a kitchen or whatnot but i've seen butcher block and i've seen that look really nice as well but even a laminate in a bathroom or a wet bar or whatnot is very cost effective and it'll instantly update how a home feels. Lori and I actually have done that several times in listings um, because when people walk in and you know they're showing us their house and they're like, we've replaced all the appliances. I think people do that because appliances go bad, but countertops typically and don't go bad. And you can just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a slab. It doesn't have to be that expensive. It doesn't have to be that expensive. And I will say when we've been pricing out countertops, a lot of the cost sometimes is the disposal. So if you're willing to do the demo yourselves on getting rid of an older countertop, we can bring a handyman in. Or if you do, you know, solid like quartz or granite, you are going to have to have um, a professional come out to actually install that. But sometimes we've done um, the one countertop I'm thinking of, Lori, it was like under $500 yeah. for this little galley kitchen. And just start in your kitchen. It made the biggest difference. You don't have to do every bathroom and every space. Just start no. in the kitchen but and countertops counter. are a big deal. So you had that 70s home we just purchased here in Colorado Springs. That's what we're talking about again today. We're talking about, you're probably gonna have the boob light. 
in or something your home. like this if it's 70s like yes that's and, a no so what do you replace it with okay so no more boob lights ladies and gentlemen <laughs> no me. boob lights we're gonna go with a flush mounted led light is a great example of something for a clean crisp feel in a home to update the lighting and they're not expensive look at those pricing now look at that price and you can see it kind of looks like a little disco you can select the lighting you want and these light bulbs last forever so again repeat after me ladies and gentlemen if you buy an outdated home no more boob light and you're gonna go with a clean crisp new led light no more boob lights right here in Colorado springs we're done with boob lights we are moving on to i love this wicker look um, i'm trying to think of where i can add it into my home right now because i think it just warms up a space and it just makes a statement and they're not expensive so if you are buying that home and we're looking in areas like village seven um, some places in rock rim and it's a little bit dated and you want that newer feel lighting is a quick and easy way i've actually done most of the lighting in my own house i've changed it out myself through youtube so you can do that for sure and if you're not there are tips and tricks to this how high you hang them True. too like you don't want them right at your eye yeah and if you don't know how your electrician and maybe an electrician might not know because they're not really into home decor a lot of times but just google it you can put in your ceiling height yeah. and how long it should drop depending upon if you have a dining room table below that or a kitchen island or what that looks like now i will say i do love these looks this gold one is one of my favorite ones i kind of love this muted gold right now um, so there's one down there and I'll show you too. It has some wood tone to it. I really like that one as well. Uh -huh. Some of these would be real tough to pull off. <laughs> yeah, I don't very know if I've few ever spaces. seen them really pulled off before. You have to have like a pretty, uh, I don't know what the right word is. Like elegant fancy, house. Fancy, elegant. Yeah, that's usually And it's not hard in Colorado. For. These are okay. Um, I do love, again, more of that gold. And Kayleen was talking about how you should match your golds. I do agree with that. I'm okay if all the color tones don't match. Like you can mix and match, yeah. but just make your golds I match. Do like this one. That's probably my favorite uh -huh. here too. It's, it just warms up a space and brings in some of those natural organic wood elements. This over here, I know it's Colorado, and this is what we kind of see sometimes. People go for this, like they're like, oh, we're in Colorado. We can bring in the mountains and that outdoor Colorado feel with outputting an antler chandelier. If you, you love antlers. I mean, opt for like the more simple right next yes. to it if you have to do any of them. But like that is maybe only in a tell you red cabin, <laughs> single room in yes. the woods. And maybe not that either. So quick, easy way on to the next. So another great way to update your home is to uh, take a look at all of your lighting receptacles. And if you happen to have, have a home this. that has more of these yellowed, then you will want to update that. Amazon actually makes a product and it is a light switch plate cover. It includes the receptacles and so it pops right on over. And so your whole electrical receptacles can automatically be updated with this like faux, it's, I'm gonna call it lipstick on a pig. Because the actual, if this is working yeah. and we don't need to replace it, it's grandfathered in, like it's in good working condition, let's just make it look fresh and, clean. and put one of these faux plates over it. One thing that I do see um, a lot of people are doing maybe a darker uh, backsplash or whatnot, and the builder will do a builder grade receptacle and whatnot maybe, if you have that darker backsplash, update it and put this, so in a picture, it doesn't stand out so and bad. I like this one you're talking about too. Maybe if it's not all over, maybe in some of the main rooms that people really focus on, I kind of like this like muted brown yes. and black. Oh, oh that's that really that shiny. Oh, absolutely. I do like that one um, But I have to say, if you're just getting ready to list it and that's nine dollars and this is 20. i don't hate the nine dollar no, option if i'm buying it and i'm going to live in it for a while i'd probably spend a little bit more because i am funny on texture sorry i just but hit also that you can update your plates where are there like 90 yep that's what right here like yes, if here. you a lot of times you will have and look dollar 68 these will be cracked or yellowed or fingerprints on there or something like that spend 20 bucks and replace them all throughout your house it will help instantly feel fresh and updated especially you know you're cleaning those walls all your receptacles are maybe already white but get rid of the fingerprints and just update it okay so this is one of my favorite things i love pillows 
I love baskets and I love accent walls. <laughs> you do. I do. I think if you have an older home, you know, sometimes that um, the wall texture is a little bit dated as well, or it's just a showing some wear and tear, put in an accent wall. I'm going to show you a few examples that you can do. I am not the master woodworker, but I have done accent walls by myself in the home, in my houses. And you can actually, if you don't even have a saw, you can go to Home Depot and measure from the ceiling to the floor. And you can do like a batten board. I'm going to show you another room. And they'll, and they'll cut, it, cut for it, you. it for you. So all you need to do is get yourself a power nail gun, which is amazing. You feel very <laughs> powerful when you use it. And you know, you can do it yourself. I promise you, if not, you can, we have handyman's. We can help you um, get someone to do that for you. But it changes the it whole changes vibe of this the whole, whole vibe. feeling. My challenge is you to go, even if you don't buy a new home, but go to any new build. They all, what makes a model home compared to like that home they're building right there when you walk in is Every model home has accent walls in almost every room. It just creates Show me another that. accent wall. So this is one option. I do love it. And they painted it a little accent color. This one is one of my favorites and it's so easy. So this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, this three, is not much four, money at all to Five, do six, it's six boards basically. Six long boards and you just nail them up, caulk it. And they painted it this I have to say it's green. the detail, the caulk and paint in caulk, here. Makes, caulk and paint is important. It, caulk and paint. It really is because it makes these seams look seamless. solid and seamless. Uh -huh. So, I mean, this room, if you just had a tr traditional wall, especially in an older home, looks kind of eh, but put an accent wall on. I'm telling you, baskets, pillows, You got one more walls. for us? Yeah, I have one more for you. This one's kind of different. I think this is what I'm thinking of. I think it has oh, like some, I like this too. I think it has some wood features. Oh yeah, see, I'm telling you, every accent room has wall. some type of accent. So this one, they painted the, the back green and then they just got some wood and planked it all the way down the wall. And it just warms up the space and creates some design element in it. Great option if you have an older it home. It makes it go from boring to like and don't over the do top. it too crazy. Like I wouldn't paint it like pink or and like have like 20 different colors. I've even just, even if you have like the wall and it's the same color as the wall next to it, just provides that neutral look too. It still updates it. So this is especially important in an older home. It just makes it feel a little bit newer and it's a really cheap and quick way to add some good value to your home. Another way to instantly update your home, this may be one that could cost a little bit more than some of the other options we've talked about, but it could make a huge deal for the feel and the smell of a home. It's flooring. So nowadays there's a lot of different flooring you can do on, um, you know, real hardwoods. This is the luxury vinyl planking. There's all sorts of different tiles, natural stones. So what do you go with? The one piece of advice I want to show you is keep it cohesive, <laughs> whatever it is, and make it to where it makes sense for the space. So this is a luxury vinyl planking and they've done a good job. Like if they had the entryway and then it stopped and then they did tile here, you want it to feel connected and open. And so do the same sort of flooring um, all the way through a main area. Now this to me is smart because this is usable. So in Colorado, when you walk in from your garage or whatnot, you may have stuff on your shoes. I don't like hardwoods for that because in Colorado, or if you have a, di a wash machine leak or a refrigerator leak, it'll warp the wood almost instantly. So it's nice to have maybe a ceramic tile or something a little bit more waterproof in some of those areas. I want to show you um, I will say also, bathrooms as well. Um, while you're showing the bathroom is a lot of times in older homes, you will have hardwood flooring and it's just kind of like that dull color or orangey. You can refinish, refinish uh, it. really easily True. and then possibly drag it into one other room and pull the color together. It actually isn't too, too bad. We have a really good flooring guy well, that can do some of me, that. And to me, this would be a good place. Like I actually prefer um, like something soft and warm in a bedroom. So I would stop this and do in my bedroom a um, uh, carpet. That's what I'm trying to say. One thing I will say never, never, never do, and I don't care whoever's watching and even if you like it, Never put carpet in your bathroom. We actually see it a lot in Colorado. I think it was a thing and maybe people thought that it was warm or whatnot. I don't know why it was a thing. But you always, always, always do ceramic tile or maybe your luxury vinyl planking. But tile is an easy way and you don't have to be too 
Um, like, like this is a basic Good tile neutral. that they put it's on the floor. Either. It's neutral. I mean, this is great and lovely, but you don't have to go with something so bold. I do it's, love that. I mean, it is beautiful, but to me, even if this was a dated home and you walked in and the flooring was fresh, it helps with the smell of a home, the cleanliness, the feel of the home. One thing I will point out is if you mess with the flooring, a lot of times you're messing with your base trim oh, that's as coming next. well. So next. just be prepared that that's kind of one of those things that you typically do hand in hand. But flooring is a big deal and probably worth the money if it's bothering you enough that you feel like it needs to be updated. It, I don't think we've ever had somebody update flooring and it'd be a bad move. Another great way to change the look of a dated home is lighting. Man, for now, cheap. when I'm talking about lighting, um, this is pretty bright for most people. I love it. But if you can't do that bright, I would say one of these two are great. This is pushing a what not to do. People put this like this in the bathroom pulls and this pulls yellow. yellow. And this really, I think this refresh is probably my Our favorite, favorite for a listing and it's not too hard to live with. Um, the next thing, the only variance I would use is the amount of wattage. So depending on the light fixture that you're putting them in, what the recommendations are for the amount of wattage, make sure you're paying attention to that. But say you have, you know, a light fixture that has a glass and you don't want that glaring at you, go ahead and step it down and maybe only use a 40 watt light bulb in it if it's too much for you. Can I, I would say go out? as bright as possible. Yeah with what you How can How often stand. do you think we change out light bulbs in a listing? 75% yeah. of the time. Uh -huh. And the other it thing is make difference. sure they all match. Yes. Like don't put, try to use up these bulbs <laughs> and then start replacing them with that. Just let it go, throw away the light bulb, get these all so they're matching. Um, it makes such a big difference in a photo and a photo translates to traffic in your listing. It will then help get you top dollar and it instantly, you know, there's different trends in housing, but fresh, clean, bright is always in. What's and that is a great way. on like the Edison vintage bulbs? To I feel me, like they're it's going moody. Out of style. It's moody. Maybe if I had like a library or maybe in like a certain dark wet bar, okay. But I would say, 80% of the time, no. And we're talking I don't like things too. You don't. And they're expensive. Like they, I mean, you're talking, I, I mean, not super expensive, but they can get a little bit more expensive. But I would say if you, back to the ones we like here, back Lori. Back to the ones we like, yes. Um, if we're talking daylight and then you have to go replace a light in a fan and these are not the right bulbs, make sure you're getting daylight to match. So everything in that room is matching as far as the light bulbs, the wattage, and it's even nice to stick to the same brand names. Like if you're going so with there is a, a difference a GE, little bit sometimes. you don't want to switch over to, I don't know, like a Lowe's brand. Make yeah. sure you're staying within that brand and the same color as there is some difference. So we're talking about the little things that you can do to update your home. And number one, well, one of them is trim, I would say. So a lot of times in the 80s, 70s homes, you have that trim that has a lot more like detail to it, I guess. Right now, obviously you can see it's a, a larger chunky trim with a flat line is what you're gonna see in all the new builds. And so getting a handyman out there to quote, even if it's like your whole house is that way and you wanna start with just the main level, just the kitchen and, and dining. I had someone come tear all my baseboards out, actually I did it, and then I had them cut and install it and then you know, you even can caulk it and, and paint it yourself. It's up to you. A lot of times you'll notice the new trends is to do the same color, different sheen for the baseboard, baseboard and the wall so it's easier to paint and not have those um, cut lines. Another thing that Kayleen was mentioning is, and maybe she can talk about a little bit, is a railing. Um, not only like is there trim work, but in a lot of those 90s homes, you have those like round curvy spindles. Yeah, it's more like that Victorian almost. Yeah. I don't know. But even if you can't afford to do the full iron I will iron say that an railing. iron railing though, I did mine for pretty cheap. It wasn't bad. I took, a, I had a bunch of railing. But sometimes it like if there's lot. other things on the list, but even if you change out 
just these square newel posts. I know this is hard to picture, but just For the those square posts ones. instead of the real yeah. scrolly ones, that makes such a big difference it does. to you. It does. Little things like that, and I will even say I'll throw an additional one, is like sometimes even upgrading like your vents in your flooring. Like sometimes there'll be those oh, yeah. old like uh, wall vents. Wall or... vents. I'm trying to find like a flooring Here's one vent. Right yeah. over. Here's one right here. And so a lot of times if you can just get, they have like wood ones now or I don't know, it depends on your flooring. But some of those can be like rusted and old and just changing them out. Yeah, they just actually, match them. Actually, even like black ones. I did black ones in um, one of my rental houses and it just kind of pulled in that new modern black feel. Um, it's a really cheap way to go to Home Depot and upgrade that as well. So good option. So last but not least is hardware. <laughs> so hardware to me is kind of like the jewelry. I like know, you, I do. you it it is also intimidating because to me it really pulls like the vibe mm -hmm. of the house like one thing that I love about the trends right now is you can totally mix and match like your metals, Different finishes, yeah. your woods, you know, if you want more of an organic feel. But the hardware, we're talking about like cabinet hardware, yeah. door hardware, plumbing fixtures and hardware, all of those things that like if you look at this, they have like a, this is like a, what, champagne gold. They have black hardware yeah. on the lighting. This is more like a bronze. They have a stainless And they're mixing here. it even within the you, stove. Oh, you yes. Can, I mean, There's yeah. really, yeah. I mean, there are rules um, yeah. when mixing and matching. Um, to me, one that I don't like, and I didn't notice it so much here, but sometimes it really stands out. I don't like to mix your golds. Like if you have a Different shiny gold finishes, yeah. and then you do more like this bronzed gold, it to me, it kind of stands out. This one goes, um, but to me, there's it's kind of I just endless. think you need like, just a screwdriver. I even did it on like I um, one of my like uh, buffets. I just think it was a family piece. And I just switched out the hardware. Oh, even you on know, furniture. Even, yeah, and the kitchen, like the old kitchens in the 70s, 80s had like those curly Q, like the little True. fanny little things like for the hardware. Uh -huh. Just go with something straight lined and simple. And another great one is with your doors, like changing out an old doorknob to something that's a little more modern is 30 bucks and can really update that door pretty quick. But you do have to do the hinges. I, I have, have to say to you too. have to do the hinges and you want to make sure that it's adjusted back well. Like don't think it's just gonna be a quick project, something like that, because the detail does stand yeah. out. But you just need a screwdriver and I, it's a quick, you can easy do it update yourself. as well. So that is our little tour of so many things. We lost track again how many that were, mm -hmm. but things to do to update your, home. update your house. We do have a lot of clients who buy homes from 70s, 80s, even early 2000s. Even, I don't know, 2010, I think you go through every 10 years a period where you're like, uh -huh. what can I do to like get my home ready to sell? Refresh or it. Refresh it, add some equity, add it to bring it up to life. And I think that is kind of something we did with our clients this year. Mm -hmm. When they did buy those older homes, is kind of walk through and say, hey, here's like five things you could do that wouldn't be a ton of money. Well, and you just we're spend a ton really of money good. In a house. That's what I was going to say. I think Lori and I, because we do this on a daily basis, we're really good and we have a great group of contractors where if we're like, I don't know how many slabs of quartz or granite yeah. that's gonna be, we, we can text our contractors and say, hey, give me a round price. But usually we're pretty spot on on what a cost to do an upgrade like that might be. Yeah. And so, you know, if the price of the home were like, yeah, you definitely have room to put money into it, make it what you want, and still be able to sell it and get all your money and some back out. Mm -hmm. That's our goal is we want you to make a good investment, make your house a home, yeah. live in it, love in it, love it. But also we never want you upside down. Oh, and I have a real a quick bonus one. If you okay. have an old mirror without a frame, you get those frame, those mirror frames like in a natural wood oh, you. and frame out those. I've done that on all my bathrooms because my home was built in 1999. And they're just like huge, huge mirrors. It does way. make and a big deal. Just to frame it out in a natural frame kind of looked like I went and bought like a nice huge mirror. And it looks custom. There. And so it was pretty cheap and I could piece it together so anyone can do it. That's what that point is. So that was a bonus material. You yeah. are welcome. So make sure you put those numbers into your phone and give us a call or text. We do a ton of real estate here. It's us who answers the phone. We would love to help you, you and your family make that move here to Colorado Springs. So reach out.